bam. That's right, I got a new razor. This is the Leaf Twig. And by the end of this video, I will have a nice, clean, sustainable shave and either singing its praises or yelling about it. Let's see. Yeah, so this is it. That's all, just the box. It doesn't come with any plastic and that's what's really cool about this company is they're trying to be very sustainable everything is recyclable um pretty much a razor is all metal so yeah let's open this bad boy so before i discuss this razor and talk about its qualities and also shave with it please subscribe if you haven't done so yet i have a lot of videos about shaving and other things and there's some reviews and some tips and all that good stuff so don't miss out when i first looked at the design i'll be honest i really wasn't intrigued and so i just kind of skipped over the razor and, and moved on and i thought you know what why not just buy one and give it a little review oh so i ordered the gold one that's right again still wasn't super excited until i opened the box and i am actually pretty enamored with the design i was not expecting that got this really cool old world feel and yes it absolutely exudes art deco am i right super simple all you have to do is unscrew it and and the blade comes out so i love that and it's also really easy to clean uh there's no like really hidden spots that you can't get to so kind of stepping back i feel like into kind of that 1940s art deco feel uh, i didn't think i was gonna like it i absolutely do i also like the way they do their blades it's a double edge just broken in half. So you just take a double edge, break it in half just like that. And now you have the blade that fits the feather. So initially I'm going to shave with the feather blade and then halfway through change to my favorite, which is the feather. Speaking of blades, let me know in the comments. I had someone ask to review like different blades. Let me know if that interests you. And I might do a video about that as well. We need to talk a little bit about the one thing they really push on their website and that is the fact that this is a sustainable shave this is something that you can use and not have any plastic involved which i like what they're going with and i like the fact that they focus on that um, with their marketing however let's be honest if you're using a double edge if you're using supply if you're using any kind of single edge that is uh that you can reuse blades in you're doing a sustainable shave i'm loving that they're like pushing that but Pretty much across the board and every razor i've used on this channel uh that's one of the main things i love about it it's it's a cheaper shave and it's a very much a sustainable shave i will say this this is a stainless steel i know some people kind of care about that too and it's only coming in at 59 dollars, so that's not too bad i feel like that's pretty competitive i think i need to shave appreciate it oh. First stroke. Feels good. Yeah. Okay. I like the angle. I like the angle a lot. Intuitive was the word they used on the website. Would I say yes? Yes. I would say intuitive. Okay. Initial reaction as more of a double edge feel. Does that make sense? It feels like it's a little easier. Also, <laughs> one thing is very nice. There's no hair. There's no hair getting clogged in this. That's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's not super close. I think it's about time. I'm gonna switch it out. I'm gonna switch out to the to the feather. Very intuitive, good angle. Not as close as I, I thought it would be. I thought it'd be closer. All right, let's go against. I will link the, the razor below. If you're curious, um, 
I don't have a, really uh, an association with Leaf, so uh, I'll just put an Amazon link. And also too, I'll link uh, the other shave stuff I use, like the soaps and the, the other stuff I use in the description below. You know, I'm gonna say it again, I love the design of it. I love the simplicity of it. There's no clogging of hair. That's really nice. I have to admit, lately I've had been deal I've been dealing with that a little more with my other razors. The razor doesn't get that close though. I went against to get close, and it it's the, the closest I've ever gotten is with that supply. Supply Pro, especially, and the supply 2.0. Whoo though! I'm liking this. I'm loving the simplicity of it. Uh very comfortable shave very comfortable and i think that's the thing the fact that it isn't super close sometimes helps that's where i think nicks and cuts come from because you have to be really careful with some of those razors that are getting super close or if you're not getting the right angle if you're looking for simple you're looking for something that's not a double edge but very much i kind of feel like very similar to a double edge this is it right here it's not going to be super close super comfortable and again very simple oh let me rinse off let me show you the end i gotta show you the end right if you've been here before, this is magic. If you haven't, I'm telling you, this is amazing. Right here, baby. Right here. Ice on the face. Nothing better for post-shave. I do do this before I put on lotion. I don't really care. I want my pores closed. I want this fresh, nice, cold ice on my face. Yeah, I love this. I feel like if I'm going to recommend... This, I think I'd recommend this over a double edge. I think I would. I'm gonna shave with this for the next couple more weeks. Uh, I'll probably do a comparison with supply. Um, really do the pros and cons. Uh, and let me know if that's something you're interested in. And uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed so far. I really like it. I like it a lot, actually. Well, my name is Timothy Sands. This is Fashionable Father. I present content to help men present their best selves. If that intrigues you, subscribe if you're so inclined. And of course, I have more shave videos, like I said before. Always remember, never forget, style first, baby. Like the video, helps. Helps with the algorithm. And if you liked this video, yes, that's right. I'm gonna recommend this one right here. All right, see you on the flip side, I guess. Oh.